This is for Wonton Soup 533. Uh, he's looking to redo the base system. Uh, he kind of had, I guess, some bad experience with a socket port 78 or something. Um, so I asked him, he inquired, basically, is he ready to move on to a new, new system, the base system, being motherboard, CPU, and memory. Um, so I asked him what his budget was, and he said 260. I'm like, well, okay, preferably go with 300 um, if you're really serious about a, a, a decent base system. But you can work with 260. Um, not going to get a try or quad core, but you know, dual core stuff should be pretty decent um, these days. Um, and also, he has one 8800 GT, a 512 meg card, and he's interested. I asked him at, uh, in the same message, are you interested in doing a two card setup? And what card do you have? And he said he has a B8800 GT, so automatically he would like to eventually do SLI. Okay, so presuming he's coming from a socket 478, um, and he only has 230, I figured. Well, I was looking at a bunch of different options, and I've got a whole bunch of tabs open in Firefox, so I'm going to show you guys what, I what I've been looking at. So, here we go. And yeah, I know my webcam sucks, but, you know, we're going to stick to fraps for the games, and we'll just use this for now. So, the absolute cheapest dual-core um, CPU here for AM2 is a 4400X retail. If, if you see the CPU on, a, on Newegg, and it's not in the box, that means you're not going to get the heat sink, it's going to cost more money for the heat sink and the processor separately. So, this is just the best way to go. This is 63 bucks. Um, alternatively, um, the next highest thing that would be worth going towards, going after is the black box edition of the 5000, which is $88. So those are the two CPUs I have in mind for him. So then we wanted to go... Uh, but just uh, for a comparison, this is the absolute cheapest tricore is 150 bucks almost. So that it's gonna yeah we're gonna skip that. So um, and Nvidia brought out the new 700 uh, series for uh, chipsets on AMD, which introduced PCI Express. Um, but unfortunately, the only non ASUS motherboard that sports a 780 chipset. 780A will allow you to run both PCI Express uh, video cards at, si at the full 16x uh, rate. Otherwise, anything anything else other than that top chipset will run both cards in 8x. But unfortunately, that would leave him with enough money to buy like a gallon of gas, maybe a gallon of gas on his budget. So um, I decided we're gonna have to fall back. A generation here, and I was looking at the five 500 series. Now, if you're wondering where the 600 series is, that was the AMD um, dual socket setup. Of course, he's not going to be buying, you know, a couple FX74. I think he had to buy both uh, CPUs uh, simultaneously, or otherwise, it's the more boot. What I've heard. So um, to get SLI at 16 and 16x simultaneously. Uh, you have to have the 590 chipset for the 500 series. The, again, the only non-ASUS motherboard is going to be uh, a, Bi a BioStar. Um, neutral on BioStar. This is a, a nice system. It's a little pricey. 165 bucks, 10 bucks, so almost 180 bucks. But if you take a look at the uh, the board here, I'll open up in a new tab here. It is nice. It's got dual plan. It's got uh, external server ATA. And one of the nicer features that none on the Ford's feature is a 4X PCI Express slot that won't get blocked if you have a dual slot cooler. And of course, if you have a dual slot cooler, it better better blow that air outside of the case instead of just be like a single slot cooler that takes up two slots. Anyone who designs something like that should be smacked. So anyway, Alternatively, if we couldn't afford the uh, the motherboard and you, you couldn't go over the budget uh, of 260, you absolutely had to stay in the budget. 
Um, the next best thing would be uh, an Enforce 570. And lo and behold, my favorite manufacturer here, Gigabyte. And uh, this is not a bad motherboard. Now keep in mind, SLI will only run an 8, 8 and 8 speed. Let's see here. Take it. Uh, 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 you don't get dual LAN, but you get onboard audio. You do still get SLI. And you don't get a 4X PCI Express slot, but you get fewer lanes on this chipset, so that's why. Um, and it's gigabyte. Passive cooling, I guess. So it's a decent system, and it's a bit cheaper at 85 bucks. Five dollar. Wait, what's the shipping? So just over 90 dollars. Now memory. Well, I decided to, um, I'm going to post all the links to all the stuff in, in the video if I remember. <laughs> so I stuck the CAS4 on DDR. There's DDR2 uh, 1066 and DDR2 800. Now, obviously, um, it's going to be slightly more pricey. The cheapest one is Gel. That uh, Gel. I don't know how you're going to pronounce that. Fifty-four bucks plus six dollars shipping. That's about sixty dollars for memory right there. That's cheap, but if you remember, the um, the motherboards aren't really in uh, his price range, and um, so I would say we're going to go with the DDR2 system. The RAM is a little bit more affordable. Um, this is going to be about just over fifty dollars, so you can save about ten bucks. Bucks. He's not going to really notice the the price difference. The cheapest um, CAS4 memory for DDR2 800 on Newegg right now is OCZ, lifetime warranty. So there you go. It's a great another great brand. And uh, again, this is with CAS latency four as being part of the uh, search. So looking at the specs. First system I attempted to, to do cost basically two hundred and eighty nine dollars. It was the dual core, um, the two point three gigahertz with the, with the uh, OCZ RAM and the Enforce five ninety BioStar motherboard. That is what I would um, go for myself. Presuming you you want to stick to the true sixteen X SLI where both cards are running in sixteen X, but. If, I'm um, sorry I had to hold this, but that's just how my cam is. If you couldn't do that, um, let's see here. I substituted um, the cheaper motherboards, and if I want tricore, it'd still be over budget. So, um, what seems to work out best is the memory, the gigabyte motherboard, the 570, which is not true, it's, it's an 8x8x 8x, uh, system. And um, you can at least go for the X2 5000. You can always drop in a quad core uh, later, presuming the BIOS, uh, the Gigabyte board supports the BIOS update, if of course you need it. And for $232.88, including shipping, of course, um, that's not too bad. The other system was a bit more pricey, and yeah. So if you add this to about 250 bucks, that would have been way over his budget. So, anyway, I'm going to go ahead and try to post those links on the video side. So, if you see the video before the links, then I just posted the video. Um, so, my suggestion for a new base system is OCC DDR2800, two sticks of 1 gigs uh, CAS4. For 52 bucks, the Gigabyte 570 Enforce um, board for almost 93 dollars, and the AMD X2 5000 with the unlocked multiplier, which would help out with uh, overclocking a little bit easier. For 88 bucks, that's 232 dollars and 88 cents, which is not a bad system. Um, for you know, it's, it, it's within the 260 dollar. Uh, budget so uh, you can still go out and have a dinner to celebrate your new system or something like that. Anyway, uh, I will see you guys around. Thanks for watching.